Pakistan's border was swamped with thousands of people seeking to cross into Afghanistan on Thursday, a day after the government's deadline passed for undocumented foreigners to leave or face expulsion. We don't want to go to Afghanistan, but these people are not allowing us to stay. My family has been living here for 50 years, but now they are not allowing them to stay. These people are being very cruel to us. If they'd given us four or five months more, we could have spent the winter here in comfort. Then, God willing, we would have gone back to our country. Pakistani authorities began rounding up undocumented foreigners hours before the deadline. More than a million Afghans could have to leave or face arrest and forcible expulsion as a result of the ultimatum delivered by the Pakistan government a month ago. The government has brushed off calls from the United Nations, rights groups, and Western embassies to reconsider its expulsion plan. It says Afghans have been involved in Islamist militant attacks and in crime that undermine the security of the country. The situation in the border points at the moment is um, completely overwhelming. Becky Robbie is advocacy manager for the Norwegian Refugee Council. Uh, we're seeing somewhere between nine and 10,000 people between both border points um, crossing on a daily basis. Um, and uh, when people reach the border point, normally they have been traveling already for several days. They've been sleeping out in the open. Um, in many cases, they've had to sell their personal belongings to pay for the transport. They've often left in a very hurried um, circumstance. Of the more than 4 million Afghans living in Pakistan, the government estimates 1.7 million are undocumented. Many fled during the decades of armed conflict in Afghanistan, while the Taliban's takeover after the withdrawal of U.S.-led coalition forces in 2021 led to another exodus. Aid agencies warned that the mass movement of people could tip Afghanistan into yet another crisis and have expressed grave concerns about the survival and reintegration of the returnees, particularly with the onset of winter.